I miss her horribly, Will confided to his friend over a single that had been doubled. She was my angel, more together. We could stay in and relax or write or read or talk or play strip poker even. She laughs at my jokes. She took me seriously. She didn't cough and spit and turn away when she came down my dirt road. She took off her shoes and stepped into the dust and heat of my life and dropped her youth into my shoulders. I can see you found peace. There's no distance like the distance between two hearts, Lance said. And when hearts come together, not even death can separate them. But you know, Will replied, I am truly blessed. Helen brought me back from the dead. I'm forever in her debt. Good man, Lance encouraged them. Good man. <clears throat> they drank. Later, they hit a party toward the lake. The cold wind swept west in flight from the fire of the unrisen sun, and Lance's coattails flapped as they walked the crust of the ice. Uh-oh. Winter had arrived. The girl at the door they wanted to enter stood 6'2 two on two-inch heels in tight red leather pants. She was hot. He desired her the moment he saw her. Both of them did. They stayed at the party into the night, danced and smoked and laughed late, and by four in the morning, the desire they had left at the door returned. She was helping the last of those who didn't live there find their coats, and somehow they were privileged to weave in and out of the deserted rooms, littered with glasses and prone dripping candles with only her and the music in her red leather knockout. <clears throat> they helped her clean up. Finally, they let her alone, headed out into the cold, into Lance's family van with no back seats, and Will clung to the buckets in front with a fanfare of lingering extended intoxication. I'm impressed you guys still have this beater, Lance. I'm sure you could ditch it for something better, eh? Yeah, she's taken a lot of abuse. Sentimental value, eh? She's on her last legs, though. I'm going to have to let her go before she gets me killed on the road, you know? I know. He guided his friend to drop him off at Helen's place. The day had been fine and the party was grand. He didn't have to meet some people and do shots for them and dance with them, and smoke with them, and laugh with them. There were names he didn't have to remember. He wouldn't have to see his friends and talk about the week or two since he saw them last. There was enough going on every night in Chicago to not raise a finger and still feel exhausted. He cupped water and drank from the faucet, then slipped into bed beside his girl. The night continued on in the morning, with the blinds drawn tight. Another rented movie abandoned, aside to the great love they made, entwined again, like vines, with the vineyard running pleasantly through their veins. No jolt out of bed, searching for shaving cream. His work was momentarily done. They slept in together. Controlled was the sun in perfect lines written across the walls. The end.